Rakia Jackson, senior Lady Vol transfer. Rakia, after basketball is done playing, which is a long time for you, <laughs> yeah. I realize that. What is your dream job? My dream job is no job. So I want to get paid fashion. I do want to be a model for like big companies though, like Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi, like, you know, just designer brands. Describe your dream house. Dream house, big, ridiculously big, eight car garage, five dogs, probably like one kid, um, a lot of grass, big pool in the backyard. <laughs> Brooklyn and Jasmine Powell are back here. Brooklyn wants a golf court. A golf golf cart? She don't even know how to play golf. No, the golf cart. She no, the what do you go mean? karts. Go karts. Go karts. Oh. <laughs> Right, bucket list. Mm -hmm. What's one thing you have got to do while you're on this earth? Skydiving. Skydiving. Bold. Very bold answer. Yes. Alarm goes off. Snooze button, or are you popping right up? Snooze button about five times <laughs> before I get up. Who is your hero and why? My mom. She's my hero because she's just such a strong woman who overcomes every obstacle and attacks everything with tenacity. And I just love her, the person she is, for doing what she does for me each and every day. And I'm just grateful to have her in my life. And then the team can go to Hawaii. Jasmine Powell's uh, Something right else. The team can go to Hawaii or Alaska for a tournament, hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Which one do you pick and why? Hawaii for sure. Um, very tropical, very warm. Um, Alaska, when I hear Alaska, I just think of cold. I don't really like the cold. Even though I'm from Michigan, I, that don't mean I like the cold. I don't like it at all. So, definitely Hawaii. None of the Midwestern players want to go be cold. Y'all been cold like your whole life. Yeah. You're tired of it. Yeah. You get to join your favorite singer, band, musical group on stage. Who are you going up with there with? I'm going up with the City Girls. <laughs> the City Girls. And your full name is what? What's your Rakia Jackson. You don't have a middle name? Oh, sorry. Rakia Valise Jackson. Let's say you could go back and name yourself. Different first and middle name. And this is also kind of an idea of what you might name a child. Mm. What would you pick if you could go back and have your own name? Honestly, I love my name so much because it's unique. And it's a part of my dad name, which is Ricky. And my middle name is Valise, which is very unique as well. Like, I never heard nobody with that middle name. But if I had a daughter... I don't know what I would name her, but I just know I would want it to be unique. Not unique, but some, a name that's unique. But I was thinking of like Nevea, cause it's just cute and it's like heaven spelled backwards. So I think that's just cute. What? On this team, cleanest locker and messiest locker. Whose stuff is everywhere and who's all neat and tidy? Cleanest locker, I would have to probably say, I think Edie's is the neatest. The messiest locker. <laughs> Um, I would have to say it's between Jordy and TK because they just have so much. Like, TK has two lockers. Like, it's that bad. Like, she got so much stuff. So, I would say it's between those two. And basketball for you, you're, you're, yeah. you played for three different coaches at Mississippi State. Mm -hmm. You're finally here at Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Just how excited are you to be back on the court? I'm so excited. I haven't been on the court since January. So I'm just so excited to get back on the court with these group of girls. And, you know, it's just going to be so fun and such a great season. And I got to ask you about the, the all SEC teams that came mm -hmm. out. Media, we only get five picks. Mm -hmm. We have to pick five for a first team. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you were on the media's first team. Mm -hmm. The coaches, now you can't vote for your own player. <laughs> yeah. The coaches have eight picks mm -hmm. for the first team, and they didn't put you on it. Mm -hmm. I personally, I'm stunned. Mm -hmm. You're a hyper competitive person. Mm -hmm. Is that in the back of your mind or, or, or you just sort of let it go? No, it's something that I just be like, I mean, everyone has their own opi opinion. Um, the media was right, you feel me? <laughs> no, but um, that's just something that I look at and I just be like, okay, like at the end of the day, who wouldn't want to be first? Who don't want to be on first team? Who don't want to be player of the year? So it's just like, you know, something that I always take with me and I just work harder and, you know, it's nothing that like I just take personal and just get down about. It's just like, okay, well, it's preseason worlds. So I'm wor wor worried, sorry, worried about after season. And then last thing, there's six newcomers, mm -hmm. four transfers, two freshmen. Mm -hmm. Not just, you can name yourself, mm -hmm. but fans haven't seen y'all yet here. Mm -hmm. Who's going to make everybody, and you can say more than one, mm -hmm. who's going to make everybody fans just go, wow. And your name has come up quite a bit yeah. with your teammates. Um, I think myself. Jordan Horston. Well, they've seen her of the six of the newcomers. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, the okay. 
um, Jillian. Um, who else is new? I feel like Justine, Deep Threes. I feel like everyone, Bo like Jasmine's. all, yeah, both Jasmine's, Edie, Edie. I feel like everyone just have like these great aspects to like each other's games. So I just feel like everyone would just wow the crowd. Like, oh, I just love her, you know, when we get in and get our minutes and things like that, so. I also, I'll throw one other thing at you. I mean, the great players from Michigan that mm -hmm. have played at Tennessee, mm -hmm. Peggy Evans, Zena Head, mm -hmm. Deidre Charles, there's been speculation that Rakia Jackson could join the list of some of the greatest lady balls ever, mm -hmm. if not one of the best. I mean, Deidre Charles with numbers. <laughs> yeah. But does that does that keep you motivated too to live up to that expectation of, of the state of Michigan? For sure. I definitely love a goal. I love to chase goals. I, I love to achieve goals. So that's I never thought about it like that. But I mean, that would be great. Like I would love to be considered one of the greats, especially from Michigan. You know, being from there. So I think it would just be amazing to be a part of that. All right. Thank you, Rakia.